Today on Try This at Home, we're going to show you how to set up a USB printer on your DDWRT router so that you can share this printer through your entire network, print from any device you want, and even if you wanted to, print from outside your network. So to do this, you're going to need to plug your USB printer into your DDWRT router. So you're going to require a DDWRT supported router that has USB capability. I'm using the Belkin F7D 7302, I believe, or 7301. It's the Belkin Share or Share Max. You can see lots of other information where we're using this router on our website or our YouTube channel. So to get started here, plug your or plug your um, printer in, and then go to your rat router's admin page. Click on the Services tab. Click on the USB tab. Enable Core USB Support and Enable USB Printer Support. As long as those two are enabled, it'll work. Now, USB Storage and Automatic Drive Mount, you only need that if you're going to use USB Storage, which from our video that we did on Optware, we had that enabled. So if you just want to leave all four of these enabled, you can. That's perfectly safe. Then hit Apply Settings. Now, Make sure your printer is turned on and plugged in. And if you want to double check that it is going to work, go to your service tab, make sure secure shell is enabled, then open up PuTTY or your Linux terminal and open an SSH terminal to your router's IP. Now when you do this, your login will always be root as the username and your password will be whatever your router admin password is. Now that we're logged in, type in LSUSB, and as you can see here, I've got a device made by Hewlett Packard. If you do ls-la slash dev slash USB, it should show you at least LP0. should have an LP device in here. And then netstat-an should show something with port 9100 open and listening. As long as you've got this stuff, you're set. You can move on to the next step. So the next step for Windows is going to be open up your devices and printers thing. Once you've got this, you're going to right click, add a printer. Now, these two add a network wireless or Bluetooth printer. Click that. Click the printer that I want isn't listed. Add using a TCIP address or host name is checked here. Next. And then you can just uncheck the query device, put in the host name or IP address, and it will quite likely not detect the TCIP port, which is okay. That means you just have to type it in manually, which we already know because we saw it over here on port 9100. If you want to connect more than one printer, the first printer is going to be on port 9100, the second one is going to be 9101, third will be 9102, fourth 9103, and so on. So, okay, so now additional port information is required. Select custom, click settings, Port name is 192.168.11. Name or IP is 192.168.11. That, of course, being whatever your router's IP is. Protocol is raw port number 9100. Click OK. Click Next. Now, you need to know what kind of printer you have. Install your driver for it. I happen to have a HP LaserJet. 2200 series. It's this one here. 
Click next. Next, next. And then it will install the printer. Okay, so once it goes to this screen here, you've successfully added the printer. If you want to check if it's working, click print a test page. And then wait and listen if you're within earshot. I don't know if you can hear it, but my printer is just spooled up, which means it's working. So once this is done, you can close this, click finish on this, close everything, and you're done. Your printer now works from anywhere inside your network. If you wanted to set it up so that you could print from outside the network, you could set up a dynamic DNS and port forwarding to that port 9100. Now there would be no authentication on there or anything to guarantee that only you could print to it, so other people could fill up your printer with print jobs if they knew that you had a print server running. So, all this being said and done, this is a great thing that you can do with your printer, or with your router, I mean, for your printer. So it all kind of works out. Um, if for some reason your printer is not recognized, you may need to install extra drivers. Uh, most older printers are going to be supported just fine. Um, HP has excellent Linux support and thus excellent DWRT support. If you do need to install any extra drivers, you're going to need some sort of way to store this. That's either with JFFS or using a USB storage like we've installed Optware on. So we can cover that in another video. And so that's all for today. Thanks for watching.